it would be incorrect to draw this ray the other way around, since the symbol is stating that the endpoint starts at P, not point Q. The next symbol represents an angle. For the most part, we denote angles using three points. The middle letter always represents the vertex. So we go ahead and draw point P, Q, and R. Then we draw two rays, both emanating from the vertex Q, as follows. You need to make sure that the vertex is being represented by the middle letter, in this case, point Q. It is very important to pay attention to these little details. The final symbol represents a triangle, and like an angle, it also requires three points. In this case, each of the points will be connected by a line segment. So we first draw points P, Q, and R. Then we go ahead and connect them in the order represented by the symbol. So P connects with Q, 